Okay, today we are going to do a demo on the Luminous Air. If you watched my unboxing video, um, that would kind of tell you what came with it and um, what I got with mine. <clears throat> Let's just start off by showing you what mine looks like. I have the black one. This is the power button over here and uh, you just press it numerous times to get different speeds. I did watch the DVD, I said that I wasn't going to, um, but I did, and it wasn't too helpful. I find that the, um, the book that came with it was a lot more helpful. Um, so first things first is I, um, I unwrapped everything, obviously. I uh, read the directions. Um, it says to find your perfect color. It came with, let's see if I can show you here. It came with the four different colors. So I took the advice in the book and all I did was I opened each color. I put a drop on my finger and then I put it on my face like that. I don't know if you can see that. And I found the two closest ones. Um, it says if, you, if there's one in there that's your exact match, then obviously you just use that. If not, you use the two closest ones and you put an evenly amount of drops in, um, in the stylist. So, I found that shade two and four were close, um, so I put two drop. I will put two drops of um, two and two drops of four in there, and um, and then it says if you once you kind of start to know like if you apply it all over your face and like man it's a little bit dark then maybe add an extra drop of this or three drops of this and one drop of this you know what I mean so you can mix and match so. <clears throat> right now I have my hair pulled back, I've got my bangs tucked behind my ears. They're long so they don't, uh, the headband doesn't, let me see, <laughs> hold it down. So I'm sorry if that uh, bothers you, but that's, there it is, they're there. And, um, and then at the end, the DVD did not show you how to clean it, but good thing this, the instructions are super simple and it um, tells you in the booklet. So first is we're going to shake up our products really well because they do separate that's normal and the first thing we're going to use is the moist primer M1 it's just white um, and uh, it says how many drops on each of the bottles so that's cool you don't have to run around looking at it, it just says right here um, apply four to six drops so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn my machine on to low and for this machine uh, the lights are different colors so when you first turn it on let's see if you can see this it's you can't because of the sun it's like a bluish purple then you press it again turned blue you can hear that it got a little bit higher and then red and that's the lowest speed the DVD did, did say the only time you really turn it on high is when you're I'm cleaning it out. Also, on the stylus pen, you know, I don't know if it'll register on camera, there's little lines on this, and the only time you ever want to pull it all the way back, I don't know if you can hear the difference, um, is when you are cleaning it out. So you're just, you pull it to the, uh, the biggest line, which is the middle line on there. So, first things first, shake our primer up. Uh, my face is clean. Um, I have not put any moisturizer on it because I'm going to use this moist primer and uh, for me I have problematic skin, sorry my nose itched. Um, so I find that sometimes less is better for my skin so I'm not, I don't want to apply moisturizer and then this primer so um, I have it on. I'm going to have my fingers ready because for some reason this squirts out and I'm just going to put six drops in. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six, and then I'm gonna just gently pull back. I don't know if you can see, gently pull back. You can hear it coming out, and I'm going to move in circular, swift motions. And if you find, you can hear it run out. If you find that it runs out super quick, I find that the primer does. I'm just gonna add a few more drops. One, two, three, four, and I'm gonna do the other side of my face because it. It ran out. 
The key to this is to move swiftly, circular motions. You don't want to be too close to your face. You don't want to be too far away from your face. So you got to find that happy medium. And it's a lot easier to feel what's right than to try to explain it. Um, but there's that. So next, um, I have the essentials kit. Put this down for a second. Let me turn this off so I can explain to you what this is. So this came in my box. Um, my mother ordered this for me, so um, I don't know if it just comes with it. This is what the box looks like. It comes with the essentials kit. Um, it's got porcelain, which is an all over um, to even out skin tone. And then, um, then we have the X out. You say bye bye to under eye is what it says. And then we have the instant eraser which erases uneven skin textures and large pores. So we're gonna use all three of these today. Um, it does say to use these, sorry, you can hear the ball in there that helps shake it up. Um, you use these before your foundation. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, first we're going to apply porcelain all of the face. It's kind of like a white, um, no color in it. Kind of like, I guess, a, a second primer almost. And that's why I didn't add extra moisturizer to my face and then we're going to do the X out for the under eye and then we're going to do the instant eraser for my blemishes um, because as you can see <clears throat> I have redness and blemishes all over my skin so once again it says shake apply all over the face prior to foundation for the porcelain you add four to six drops I'm gonna shake it really well I'm gonna turn on my stylist to low. I'm going to get ready. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to work it all over. And you can hear when it goes out. Um, it does say between each one to let it dry. So what I like to do is just let the air blow on my face once it dries. So we have the porcelain on, let that dry. Next, we're going to do the under eye, and this is just sweeping it under your eye. Um, it also says for this one, you can put the product on, turn that off so you can hear me. You can put the product on your finger to dab it. Now, I also want to mention that on their website, which I will link in the description below, um, they have a, a wand uh, concealer, so, uh, I have used this a couple times because I've tried to film this video. I did it in my bathroom a couple times. The lighting is really bad. You can't really see it. Put it in there and we're going to do this all over again. And it's a couple times. The lighting is really bad. You can't really see it. Forgot to take four pictures and just was not planned out very well. So I will say this is, um, it gets because you have to close your eyes to do it and i don't know about you but when i put on my concealer my eyes opened i look up and i dab so i can get really close to the lash line so i think today what i'm going to do is i'm going to try this with um putting dropping it on my finger and dabbing it i just think it will get better coverage um it'll get into my fine lines down here and um it's not gonna cake up or anything because you're kind of just getting it on there um so all you would do for that is you would take your finger one drop is a lot so I'm going to dab it in between each finger like so Can you see that and then I'm going to do my normal how I would I would look up I would start right there I would dab I would bring down a little and I would get into the corners like so and it says if you need more layers what you do is you let the it dry for a second and since I have somewhat prominent dark circles under my eyes I'm going to apply one more layer once again I'm going to put a drop on there I'm going to dab it between my fingers I'm going to look up and I'm going to dab this time I'm going to dab and show you can you see that I'm gonna let it dry for a second. This is what I do with my Garnier um, under eye roller. It's my concealer, it's a wet formula as well. I just let it sit for a second, kind of thickens up, and then I spread it out with the warmth of my finger. And it just find that it doesn't disappear 
as much. It's, I don't know, it was more, I don't know the word I'm looking for. You know what I mean? No, because I can't explain it. So there's that. I do find that that's a better way to apply the under eye concealer than spraying it on. Spray it on, it, um, when I'm like, kind of like, close my eyes, it doesn't get underneath my lashes, and it gets, you know, it doesn't get in those little lines, those little creases. So anyway, that is an option to do that. I do recommend putting this um, X out on like that. Um, probably even just a brush uh, will work to a concealer brush. So, now we're going to go to the instant eraser. I'm going to turn my, back onto low. Uh, this is the instant eraser. I'm gonna shake it up really, really well. Sorry, I have allergies. Nose is a bit runny. Use before foundation. Erases discoloration and blemishes. Use four to six drops in the stylus and spray evenly. Again, you're gonna wanna you wanna move circular motions, swift, quickly. You don't ever wanna stay in one spot too long or it'll build up. You know, if you it, it helps with all over discoloration, but then you have certain blemish spots that you you know you want a little more concentrate on. But just uh, you know do it and then move on. You don't want it, it builds up kind of fast and then if you have to, you can take a concealer brush. I was gonna show you mine, where is it? You just take a flat concealer brush and you can dab it out. Um, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna get my hand ready. I'm going to add six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to start spraying evenly all over my skin, concentrating just a hint more on my blemish spots around the nose. You can hear when it runs out. Let the air dry it a little. I love that feeling, that air mist on my face. It feels nice and cool. And like I said, if you need to, maybe you <clears throat> stood in a spot too long, you just take your brush and you dab it out. That's all. That's all you do. Um, oh, eyelash. So next we're going to do foundation. Here's the magic. So I got my two foundations. Like I said, I'm using two and four. One's um, darker, one's lighter. Mix them, it, it's pretty good, you see? So I'm going to make a mess all over my hand. Oh, I bury you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I'm going to add, these say, uh, foundations are four to eight drops. So you want to do even layers. You're not gonna get one, bam, full coverage in the first spray. You do your four to six or four to eight drops. You let it dry a few seconds, and then you do another layer, and so on and so on, until you like the coverage that you want. Now, I will say I haven't done any more than three layers, and I will say it's it's good coverage, medium, the most. Um, I wear some pretty heavy foundation sometimes, so um, I would say medium. Um. Also, I just, I need to point, I think this is very important. Let's, I'll talk and one, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. And uh, I will say, I wore this the first time I did the tutorial. I wore it, I was having allergies. And uh, don't forget your neck. Anyways, um, and uh, you know, I, uh, my eyes started to water, and what was so sad is my makeup started to water. It just ran right down my face, and um, so I don't think it's waterproof. If you sweat a lot, um, you know, or you plan to be out in the sun, um, it doesn't say that there's any kind of um, SPF in this, and it did, it, it water, it just dripped. Now, I did have a little bit of... Um, I did the 
what is it, the X out underneath my eyes and I did it like it said and so it was kind of built up right there and I don't know if maybe that was the reason, um, but it, it wasn't waterproof. The other thing that I wanted to say is I have oily skin. Um, so what was great about this is even though I was wearing it, um, my skin felt nice. It didn't feel greasy, it didn't get oily. Um, I think I will have to try this out a few more times to definitely get the feel for it because what happens to me, I'm gonna add my second layer right now. What happens to me is I will try a foundation, um, whether it's made for oily skin or it's supposed to be mattifying and what happens is it works great for the first week. Don't forget your neck. And then I just become this huge oil slick and um, it's no good, you know what I mean? Okay, so I like the coverage. You know, I'm so used to having blemishes that it doesn't bother me as much as it used to. Now obviously if you wanted to cover it up, you could do your couple layers of, i just let that dry, your couple layers of foundation. I'm just gonna do two today. And then you um, you could go back in with your regular concealer and whatnot, but I do, I like the coverage of this. Okay, but what I will say is obviously you're spraying makeup all over your face. So like I will need to clean off my nose ring um, just with a little Q-tip. I will need to brush some water and a brush through my eyebrows to clean the makeup out of them. I don't know if you do that. I do that even with my regular foundation when I put foundation all over my face. Um, before I do my brows, I just kind of brush them clean of makeup. Um, and then your eyelashes. Either you can take a brush and get it wet and kind of comb through and get some of that makeup off, or just make sure you coat your eyelashes really well. All right, so um, that's that. All right, we have our foundation on, so next we're gonna do the soft rose blush. Now this you really need to be careful with because if you're just, it literally can become very streaky. So I, um, but if you hold it too far away, your whole cheeks gets colored and, um, but I'm going to, it's a very beautiful color. This is soft rose. Um, this is two to three drops. I would start small and then go, don't, I would not add three drops because it feels like forever. Um, I don't know, for me it was just too much, but um, build it up slowly. And um, so we're gonna turn the stylist on to low again. Turn it off. I'm gonna put one drop in. And I'm gonna smile. And I'm just gonna go in circular motions to my temple. Just to add that hint of color. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm gonna add one drop. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna smile. Start at the apple of my cheek. And you can kind of see that one. A little more, drying it with the air. Okay, so you can see that color a little bit more. Maybe, you can see my big, my pimple. I tried to pop it. You might tell me that's wrong and you would be right. So, also what I recommend with this is because for me I just, I can't, I don't know, I have to blend it out, I have a problem. So I'm just take my, um, my brush I'm gonna just buff it out. That's all I'm gonna do. I love the um, subtle color it adds to my cheeks. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I also wanna mention, if you look on their website, I mean, they have bronzers, they have highlighters, they have matte um, foundations. This is just the regular um, foundation, but all right, so now that, um, so I'm gonna do today as far as my face. All right, now we're gonna clean it out. I'm gonna show you how to clean it out. You turn it on hot, which to me sounds like the middle. It's when the light's blue. You're gonna fill this bottle up. It comes with this bottle. Fill with water. On the back, it's super simple. For, for best results, fill with warm water. So all you do, I fill this with some warm water. I like to fill the cup with water and then you take your your pen trying to look at my burn you see my burn I was making applesauce it was hot hopefully you'll be able to see this 
and you're gonna pull it back all the way. And you see that makeup coming out? And you're just gonna do that until it sprays clear. You can hear it run out. I'm gonna do it one more time. Spray it out. And then it says to deep clean, you can unscrew, you can unscrew these right here. I show you this adjusts the needle, you unscrew that and you can adjust it. And you can take your needle out the top also unscrews. So you can deep clean your tip and the needle as well. To deep clean your tip, you will just set this down. You would just take a Q-tip, or because I have this in front of me, I'm going to use um, just the rolled up paper towel. You stick it in there, and you can just clean it out. See all that makeup that came out? And then the tip is clean. And then you would screw it back on there. It does recommend that you take the needle out once in a while to clean it free of makeup. I'm just going to put that back on there. And the same with the cup. The cup does not come off, but same thing. You just, you'll take a paper towel or a Q-tip and you get it in there and you just kind of clean it out. Makeup on there. The cup's relatively clean. Use one more and shine that baby up. And that's pretty much it. So uh, I will try to take some pictures. I won't try, I will take some pictures in um, some better light so you can actually see what I'm seeing. I don't know if the camera's like picking it up. Um, and obviously we just go ahead and finish your makeup up there. I'm going to take pictures without finishing my makeup with just this on my face so that you can see um, just the luminous air foundation and blush. Um, it also, side note, came with some, let's see, just dig in the box. Um, I haven't used these yet, it comes with some eyeshadow. I have a gold and this um, really pretty color right here. Uh, nervous to use the eyeshadow. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, I'm just nervous. If you can't tell, I haven't even opened it. Uh, the shade is really pretty. I'm sure if I was to put it on a brush and use it that way, it could be really good. Um, I just know if I'm, I, I just don't know if I'm that um, brave to. Sp <laughs> I just feel like it would spray all over my eye. And uh, but anyways, I haven't used that. It does show it in the DVD. It doesn't look super hard, but um, so it. it they really have an array of makeup. Check out their website. Like I said, I'll link it below. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions that I might be able to answer, um, please leave it in the comments below, and um, I'll see you next time.